Okay, so this wasn't a planned video, but since the uh, sound quality appears to have been restored, I'm on a little bit of a roll. Um, uh, this is from today's Eye newspaper. Leading, of course, on Fidel Castro. Um, getting a somewhat neutral stance um, on, on that story. But this is an article on page 11. Um, and I'm just going to read it out. It's not terribly long, so bear with me. Let's get straight. Women's Equality Party now has more members than UKIP. The invisibility of disabled people, the rights of carers who need greater work flexibility and violence against women were all on the agenda at the first Women's Equality Party conference this weekend. Hundreds of delegates congregated in Manchester to discuss and vote on the issues. The fledgling party launched last year has attracted over 65,000 members and supporters under 18 months, exceeding UKIP's membership, which in August stood at 39,000. Some 1,500 delegates gathered for the inaugural conference, where it was standing room only when Sophie Walker, the party's leader, delivered her keynote speech. Miss Walker, whose daughter has autism, said being the mother of a young disabled woman fueled her determination to spearhead a movement to dismantle the unequal system that renders vulnerable people invisible. During the conference, which attracted few non-white attendees, Miss, uh, I'll just reread that. During the conference, which attracted few non-white attendees, Miss Walker responded to criticism that the WE is a party run for and by middle-class white women, insisting it was a movement for all. She said the diversity of the party was growing and vowed to defend the rights of non-white working-class women as well as minority groups, including people who are disabled or identify as LBGTQ+. I'm not actually exaggerating, that is how the IA writes it. Um, the WA leader argued that politicians of all stripes were failing to take meaningful steps to combat problems including the gender pay gap, women's pensions, childcare costs and domestic violence. Okay, uh, firstly, a quick thing about UKIP. I'm not surprised UKIP's membership is falling because I don't really see UKIP's point anymore. They've more or less achieved what they wanted. And I think it's highly unlikely that Theresa May is going to pander to former Prime Minister's Major and Blair to have a second EU referendum. Although May was a Remainer, I think she's a pragmatist and I can't see that happening. So I think UKIP has more or less achieved its goal. And I think they're just kind of hanging around to look relevant now. So I think that probably explains a reduction in membership as opposed to any sort of backlash against them. Or it might be a bit of a backlash against them. 39,000 is not particularly big. 65,000. Um, on the surface, that is a lot lower than Labour and the Tories. But for a party that only formed last year, that is an incredibly fast rise. And um, I, I wonder where that comes from. I'll say from the outset, I have big scepticism about the Women's Equality Party. This is why. I raise eyebrows, see, raising eyebrows, with any movement or party that is ostensibly divisive. Now, Sophie Walker says the party is for everyone, but when you have a party that is blatantly focusing on one gender versus the other, that by nature is divisive, and I don't think anyone can honestly say otherwise. This is not the Equality Party, this is the Women's Equality Party. Now, I don't take issue with some of the issues uh, being raised there, they're important issues. Disability, discrimination, LGBT rights, domestic violence are important things, and I don't begrudge any party raising those things. But, what I just don't see how you can argue, how Sophie Walker can argue that this is an egalitarian party when they are pandering to the worst sort of feminist um, division, that men are the problem, uh, patriarchy is the problem, women are victims and it's all terrible. I, I really don't see the issue, I, I don't see how that could be seen as progressive. As for where the support's coming from, well, it could be a mixture of things. Maybe they're they're effective campaigners. Um, maybe they've had some celebrities endorse them. I don't really know, to be honest. I'm intrigued by that. But nothing they've said so far convinces me that they really are egalitarian. I haven't seen anything particularly extreme from them so far. 
uh, should emphasise that. So I haven't seen rabid feminism coming through. But, you know, the the, the way they, they've modelled themselves, you would think this was 1915 and that women weren't allowed to vote or something. Women can vote today. We have a woman prime minister. We have a woman home secretary. The first minister of Scotland is a woman. The list goes on. So I, I just don't see the point of it, really. Would it not be better to push those issues in larger parties that actually could do something about them in government? You know, like the Conservative Party or the Liberal Democrats or, well, OK, maybe the Lib Dems aren't the best example. But um, let me know what you think. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of feminism. And uh, this is clearly a feminist driven party, even if it is mother on the surface. But just by the very nature, imagine, imagine if you had a white nationalist party who claimed that they were only interested in equality, or you had the Black Party, or indeed a men's movement party. All, any party that is pandering to that sort of division would be derided as such. Um, I, don't, I do really hope the media doesn't give them a free pass. From the interview I saw with Sophie Walker, and it was only brief, but I saw it on the night of the, I don't know if it was last year's general election or this year's council elections, but it looked like she was getting a free ride. It looked like there was virtually no tough questions being put to her. Of course, this is a party that would have probably cry sexism every time a journalist asked them a question. But they don't like uh, We'll see. I, I don't really know where they're getting support from. I mean, it can't be 65,000 feminists, obviously. Or maybe it is, who knows. Um, if you are a member of the Women's Equality Party, do enlighten me. Um, you say that the party's for everyone. Well, what are you going to do about issues that impact men? You know, like disproportionate male suicide rates. So prove it, you know. Um, that's all I would say. I don't trust them. I think, uh, yes, I appear moderate on the surface, but no, I don't trust any movement. It's fundamentally divisive.